Oh, I'm so excited. What story are we reading today, everybody? This is terrific. I hope it's something by Dr. Seuss. He was a good friend of mine. Terrific guy. Thank you, everybody, for showing up today to our Congress meeting. Uh, we're going to be voting on some important issues, uh, like nap time. Who's decided how long this is? Am I right? I know, but I need to take them out. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to get out. I think that uh, graham crackers are overrated. I think we need to go back to cookies and milk. I firmly believe cookies and milk are the way to go. Graham crackers are a joke. We know they're a joke. They were invented by Alexander Graham Bell. They used to be dry and oaty. We like things with chocolate in them. Come on, kids, let's rise up together and tell people we want something with chocolate or we're not going to cooperate. Come on. Somebody going to take me up on my zillion dollar challenge? Okay, my friends, go ahead and hit your red button and exit, okay? All of Mrs. Beeson's friends, exit out, please. Okay, goodbye, everybody. Thank you for coming to my meeting today. Appreciate you. I'm just listening to the story. It's here for story time. It's all right. I was just telling that the kids should protest against graham crackers and we should go back to cookies and milk. I remember growing up and it was nap time, cookies Matthew. and milk. We didn't go with graham crackers. They are a joke. Matthew, hit your red X, please. Keenan, hit your red X, please. I see a Pikachu. I'm peeking at everyone. Matthew. Where is the story? This is taking forever. You know, I'm sure we are all very busy. Tiffany, are we going to start reading soon? Emerson, hit your red X, please. You get a picture of this. Very nice. Hello. <laughs> Terrific. Matthew, hit your red X. Leave the meeting, please. Bye, everybody. Thanks for coming. Appreciate you. Everyone is wonderful. You're wonderful. I'm wonderful. That guy's wonderful. He knows what's up. This person knows what's going on. That person down there, this one over here, are all terrific. Terrific, terrific. Alex, or Matthew, please log off. Log off, please. I don't know what the problem is. All I did was tell everybody that we're tired of graham crackers. We want to go back to cookies and milk. And everybody gets angry at me. Emerson, please hit the red X. Emerson, leave, yeah, the, leave the Zoom. Please what? So? Hit the red X. Alex, can I ask you what you're typing? Emerson, please hit the red X. Are you on your phone? Come on, let's pay attention to the story, please. Chris. Hey, everybody. Just live here from Air Force One. I say we go to cookies and milk and a nap. Right now I'm flying over Pittsburgh. And if my geography is right, it should be Thailand next. I'm sorry, Thailand. Is the story over? What time does the story end? Alex, did you hear a story? 
Alex, what was the story about? We're going to do a test. In chapter one, what was Mrs. Havisham's reason for taking Pip on? Good question. I'll wait. Can somebody answer my zillion dollar challenge? Oh. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Willie, we can't see you, Willie. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Don't be a coward. Don't be a coward, Willie. It's story time. We're having story time. Don't be ridiculous. Show yourself, you big puss. Come on. Don't be some bamboozling horn swaggler. What's the matter with you? Huh? Back in my day, we'd show each other our Twitters every day. Why, well, every person in the neighborhood knew what my Twitter looked like. <laughs> Bro, how'd you get this leg, dog? Just taking selfies, no big deal. I'm here to answer questions. A lot of people seem to be upset with the dear old president. I want to know why. What's going on? And how'd you get the leg? I'm the friggin' president. <laughs> I go where I want, if I want to go, if I want to go over there, I go over there, okay? If I want to go over there, I go over there, okay? I do it all. I do this, I can do that, I can do this, and that. If I want to look that way, I can look that way. If I want to look this way, I can do that. So, I'm the freaking president, I do what I want. Like, check me out. I'm looking at Steven Seagal flicks on Air Force One. Bet you didn't think you could do that when you were president. Willie really dropped out, much like his mother from high school. <laughs> Boring. Drop out. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> So if they made me the host, does that mean they have my info? Oh, still. Between teaching at community colleges, Clara writes poems about science, love, and personal mythology. Quarantine has allowed her time to explore various art mediums, and this month it's a curlix. Her poems, paintings, and nature photography, you can follow her at Sarah as a poet on Instagram. So I'll drop her Insta in chat, but everybody, um, if you might see throughout the evening, um, who's been up for Sarah. So, um, Hi, Sarah. Sarah Okay. Hello. Hey. So Sarah will be painting throughout the evening. So if you want to see um, what's going on right now, I'd like to buy that painting. <laughs> In fact, I, well, I, think it's, it's I I haven't even seen it finished, but I know it's going to be terrific. In fact, I'd like to offer it a zillion dollars. This whole thing is paid for. I'm paying for everything. You you're all beautiful. I'm giving you everything. You're terrific. Where do I write the check to? Um, I don't know. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Sarah, you can just send me an email. Um, thank you. Um, so, thank Naya, you. Um, Naya, yeah. you know who Chris H-E-E is? No. Does anyone know who Chris is? Okay, that's probably you don't. You don't recognize me? <laughs> oh, hold on, excuse me. Hey, Sarah? Excuse me one second. Uh, Ar Armine, Armine, 